In this Tutor 2 video, we're going to spend a few minutes thinking about the price elasticity of demand for primary commodities. And we'll take a look at this question, analyse reasons why PED, price elasticity of demand, for many primary commodities is relatively low. We'll start with a definition. Primary commodities are those things that we extract uh, from underneath the Earth's surface, or we grow on the surface. So crude oil, natural gas, together with food grown in the farming industry. Now, a low coefficient of price elasticity of demand means that demand for a particular commodity is price inelastic. Put in a simple numerical example there, a 25% increase in the crude oil price might lead to only a 5% fall in demand. Well, 5 over 25 is uh, minus... Point two. Any value less than one is price inelastic. Now, many primary commodities have a low PD because they have few close substitutes. Gas-fired power stations, for example, must use gas. Uh, the commodity is a necessity. And as you know, products which are necessities tend, other things being the same, to have a low price elasticity of demand. In this case, the energy generators must pay the going market price for the gas. Uh, they might be able to find some efficiencies over time to, uh, to minimise their gas usage, but uh, they need to find ways of improving efficiency, but they're not fundamentally changing what it is they're buying. And also another factor making PD low is that there's often a very high cost of switching to substitutes. Food processing companies, for example, will have a low price elasticity of demand in the short run for the basic farm-produced ingredients that they need to use when manufacturing processed foods. The wheat, for example, if you're making cereals. The manufacturing processes are usually geared to using specific ingredients. They may be hard to, to change or uh, modify over time. And another factor making elasticity is low is if they think, the food manufacturers, for example, if they think they can pass on higher costs and higher prices to consumers, to their buyers. So typically, uh, primary commodities have a low price elasticity of demand because, first of all, they're necessities. Secondly, they often have few close substitutes. Thirdly, the cost of switching is often quite high to alternatives. And uh, the the users of these commodities might be able to pass on, feel able to pass on the burden of higher prices, higher costs to their consumers. And here's a good example of a, of a market which is relatively price inelastic. A large increase in price here only causes a relatively small fall in demand. In terms of evaluation, uh, the price elasticity of demand can be expected to increase the longer the time frame we allow for buyers of commodities to adjust to price rises. So in the immediate period, a price elasticity demand is often very, very low, perhaps even close to zero. You just have to pay the higher price. But over time, buyers and users can adjust their purchasing decisions. A good example is the sharp increase in natural gas prices during 2022, following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Now, this has prompted many countries, including the UK and Germany, to attempt to switch away from gas, pushing up demand for relatively price competitive options, including, including coal. And there's also been increased investment into renewable energy capacity. So over time, and if we allow enough time to pass, if the prices of primary commodities stay high, then there's an incentive, a financial commercial incentive, for innovation to find alternative sources. An example here might be car, electric car manufacturers and smartphone battery, um, smartphone manufacturers. Um, they're looking to lower, to reduce their dependence on, on lithium, whose global price has surged in recent years. And here's the price of the average lithium carbonate um, per tonne in US dollars. You can see 2020 obviously was a year with pandemic, you can see the price of lithium is way higher than it was 10, 12 years ago. Surging demand for lithium has driven the price up. It is a scarce primary commodity. Over time, if the price stays high, then and if demand becomes more price elastic, so I've drawn D2 as more price elastic than D1, uh, then the increase in price from 20 to 60 causes a bigger fall in demand, as you can see here. So there's the 
uh, inelastic demand becomes more elastic and at that higher price 60 demand falls away so over time if you can find alternatives if the commodity becomes less of a necessity uh, then you'd expect the coefficient of price elasticity of demand to go up. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to make it price elastic because of the nature of many primary commodities. Thanks for taking care to join again. We appreciate it. If you found it useful, please press like and subscribe and the notification bell so you get to find out when the new video is being published. Take care, stay safe. See you soon.